Hey, Ryan here from AI Design. So our client brought us this awesome, somewhat early Viper to upfit the interior and add some creature comforts. When the car first came to us, one of the issues it had is that there was paint protection film on the whole car and it was looking kind of tired and yellow. So the customer wanted us to pull the paint protection film off. Unfortunately, old paint protection film has the tendency to take paint. So it took a whole bunch of paint off of the hood, off of the bumpers. So we ended up having to start the project by repainting the nose, which wasn't an anticipated piece of it but we think it came out really nice. It, it had turned out it had been painted before, so the color wasn't quite right, so now all the colors match before the door didn't match the hood. The other nice piece is he wanted to add some modernity to this car, some kind of creature comforts. Vipers did not come with creature comforts, and one of those was power mirrors off of a, a later Gen 2 car. The 98s and up, you could get power mirrors with. A lot of the major work happened inside. So there's two things that every Viper owner needs. One of them is a cup holder. There's no cup holders in here, but the most crucial thing is a front camera and a backup camera. And those are really hard solutions to fit into this 90s dashboard. We had talked to the owner of this car about fitting a double den in here, like the, with a large screen, but it didn't really fit the vibe of the car. Now we really like this, this Blaupunk unit, which looks historic. Inside the tape deck is a USB, which is a really neat little feature. So it looks like a vintage style radio, but it's got a USB in it. These used to be three vents and we found a total raw monitor fit into the dash. Um, I had to give him a little Viper logo because it's kind of cool. So this button here will load his front camera when he's parking. But by default, he's always going to default to his backup camera. So it'll turn off. Now his front one would come back on. And if you want to turn all the cameras off, just push the button again. This piece here, we 3D printed and we leather wrapped it when we were doing this interior. And then, boom, there's your cup holder. Uh, it's kind of neat in case he wants to use the storage space. It's, it's magnetic with a little locking pin. So we did leather with the stitching. We did the lower part of the dash because this is actually painted. It's not upholstered at all. There's a, certainly a challenge when you're going to leather any interior like this that was just uh, an extruded rubber product before. It's like a, like a foam with a vinyl on top of it. And you actually have to shave away some of the material and you have to create um, enough clearance so that when you put it back in the car, it's actually going to fit. This car, extra hard because everything's 90s Chrysler, so it's all a little wavy. It doesn't really fit well to begin with. So we had to, had to really finesse it into place. Steering wheel as well with the airbag cover, which is really cool with the stitching. And then these are laser etched. They're done on a laser to fit the Viper logo in there. Uh, round two for this client is going to be more back-end stereo with a subwoofer, and we're going to do the seats for him next.